Hi guys, welcome back. I'm in Sydney at the moment and I thought I would take the opportunity to show you some of the cars that I've got up here in storage. So you would have seen before I, I showed you the black 180SX Type X. If you didn't see that, I'll put a link to that video in the description where I go over everything I've done with that car. But today I'm focusing on the car that's under this cover. So without further ado, I'll show you my Mona Lisa, I guess you could call it. This is uh, the car that I spent a lot of time on uh, working to get to this stage. So yeah, this is also another 1990 180SX or SIL80. So I've done the Sylvia front end, Sylvia Aero front end, and 180SX rear with Type X lights, exactly like the black car with carbon center garnish. So this car I've owned for, I think nearly five, four or five years now. So before I actually had a black S13 Sylvia Coupe, you can see some pictures of that on my Instagram. Fortunately, I had an accident in that and pretty much all the work I'd done to that car, I put back into this shell that I bought and also the front end from that coupe I actually put onto this car because I wanted one that was like 180 type X front and then one that was like S13 but it was just it's really hard to find S13 coupes that don't have rust in the lower quarter panel at the back I looked at more than five coupes and I just couldn't find any that didn't have any rust there. And it seemed that pretty much every 180 that I looked at didn't have that rust. I think it must just be the design of that back window when it leaks. Um, usually that rubber deteriorates and they get a lot of water seeping down into that quarter. So I thought, oh, I don't want to do any rust repairs. So I ended up buying this shell and it actually had a red top SR20 in it. It wasn't running. And I bought that for 5,000 and it come with a bunch of parts, some that I've put on this car as well. But pretty much I took that red top out and I put a CA18 in that I'd actually built from the black car. So just starting with the exterior, the bonnet is a Origin Lab carbon fiber one. I've just paint matched it just because the carbon was a bit deteriorated on it. And I've got some 25 mil wider front fenders. These are just some ones I got off eBay that fit absolutely garbage. Um, the other one I had to do a lot of work to get that to fit up. Particularly this section here does not line up and the line is not great, um, but I got them to fit. And then front bar and lip is from KMAC Aero. They, that also fit um, horribly. That required like days of work to, in order to get that bumper to fit on the other car. GTR grill, I think I also got that off eBay. And I've just got a Takata toe strap there. And I've done the clear front indicators. And it's got triple projectors. And the license plate supposed to say S Jusan, S13, but uh, all my mates just call her Susan. And coming along, the wheels, they are SSR SP1s that I got off Marketplace. They're 18 by 7.5 front and 8.5 rear. And on the front, I've got some 20mm GK Tech hubcentric spacers. 
and I've got S15 front knuckles with S15 brakes. The side skirts are, I guess, like a Vertex copy. They were already on the car when I got it, and I quite liked it, so I just sort of left them on. Then I've got some GK Tech, I guess, Ganador copies. They're quite good for the price. I'm pretty happy with them. See, still 80. And then on the rear, I've got the Vertex rear bar. That was also on the car. I just left it. And the Type-X rear tail lights with garnish. And Type-X rear wing. And also roof spoiler on there. And I've done the delete for the rear wiper. It's a bit parked in so you can't see this side of the car, but it's pretty much the same. And then I got this fat five inch uh, pipe that I custom made to go on the exhaust. So in terms of the exhaust, it's a bit of a combination of a random Jasma exhaust that I that came with this car when I bought it. Half is on the black car, half is on the silver car. Um, just because the rear muffler fit with this Vertex bar. And then the center section is JJR, and I've got a cat delete on this. Just test pipe. So this is my CA18DT. So for you out there that don't know about this engine, the first two years of manufacturing with the S13, they actually came with the CA18. It's sort of like a a cut down version of an RB engine just with four cylinders instead of six so unlike the SR20 it's got a cast iron block instead of alloy and this has um, lifter on cam instead of rocker arms so it can rev uh, out easier than the SR20 you don't have to risk popping rockers but the head flow design is not quite as efficient as the SR20 and this actually also has butterfly valves for the inlet and each cylinder has two inlets. Quick rundown, also got GK Tech cooling panel with DK signature on there and also the cooling panels over the headlights and then I've just got a alloy radiator, water temp sensor. I'm not sure what brand this piping and intercooler is. It came on the S13 Coupe when I bought it and I just kept it because it worked. And then I got a custom intake that I made down to, it's a Hypergear ART28 ball bearing. That also came on this engine when I originally bought it. So it had head gasket issues when I bought it from a guy and a bottom end knock and I was just sick of all the problems with it. So I ripped it out and it's got spool rods now, ACL bearings, main and rod, and CP pistons, and the compression's now nine to one. I got 260 degree cams that were reground by Camtech. Got some Golby cam gears that I haven't had any problems with. I know a lot of people on the internet have complained about issues with them but um, it's been fine for me. I've done about 10,000 Ks on them. Just make sure you lock tight those bolts really well. Still standard intake manifold. Uh, I would like to go hyper tune in the future. And I've just got a tubular exhaust manifold there. Catch can, vent atmosphere, and Nissan Nismo strut brace some LS1 coil packs and then I've got a R33 brake booster with master and GK Tech stopper there. In terms of the interior I've got a Nardi wheel with an NRG quick release, Sparco scramble boost buttons, GFB boost controller with Link G4 ECU, Short shifter, likewise shift knob, AM wideband gauge, innovative oil pressure and temp gauge, SAS 
water temp gauge, turbo smart boost gauge with pillar pod holder, bride's fix back seats, Nismo cigarette lighter, custom leather door trims, Nismo floor mats, a Broadway mirror, and in the back I've also got S15 seats which you can't see. In terms of rear suspension, I've also got a hard race sway bar on the back. It's just the standard R200 LSD. And I've got camber arms, rear tie rod. And in terms of under the car as well, the GK Tech chassis rail extension piece on the other side, got that there as well. In terms of coilovers, I've got HSD, coilovers front and rear. And then on the front, I've got adjustable caster arms and original S13 lower control arms boxed in as well. And I've got GK Tech, oh, you can't really see, but I got GK Tech um, bolt on angle kit and that works really well. I forgot to mention in terms of tires, the fronts are 225 40 18 REW3s. And then on the back, I've got some Michelin Pilot Sports in 235 40 18s. So that pretty much sums up the 
my SIL 80 Type X. If you have any questions or I missed anything in the video, feel free to put some comments below and I'll try my best to answer. It has been quite a while since I've looked at these cars or even started them, so I might have got a few things. Um, also, if you're interested in the Type X, I'll put a link below for that video as well. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next video.